In today's video, we're going to be talking about the power of money and starting to understand the value that's packed into silver and gold. And I'm also doing a giveaway in the VIP club and it ends on November 1st. Join before then to get entered. Link in the description. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about the power of money. And when I say money, I'm referring to the silver, I'm referring to the gold, and how it's not a concept you're going to fully grasp until you actually have the money in your hand. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos. Also get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Got the limited edition Halloween tees available in three different colors, only available for the next three days. Get one while you can. And of course, the DYDSS fight collection, helping raise a little bit of funds and awareness for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Thursday, October 28th, 2021. The spot price of silver as I'm filming the video is $24.04. It's up 2 cents or up 0.08%. Spot price of gold is $17.98.10. It's up $1.10 or up 0.06% percent. So both silver and gold are just a hair in the green today. And the gold to silver ratio is in the 74 to 75 to 1 range. But of course, that's as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. But today, I wanted to talk about the power of silver and gold, the power of money, the power of the value that's packed into the precious metals. And believe it or not, what I'm going to be doing in this video since last night, Wednesday night, as I do every Wednesday night, I do a VIP club live stream. We were live for about three and a half, maybe four hours. And there was a small section of that stream where we were having a conversation about this. So what I'm going to do is take a clip from that stream, include it right here. When the clip is done, I'm going to hop back on and share a few more of my thoughts. Here's the clip. Here we go. I'm pretty sure the Utah Goldbacks were released in 2019, but I'm pretty sure they first started being talked about in 2018. I might be off by a bit, but from what I remember, I, I believe that to be true. Regardless, I remember a bunch of people out of nowhere hitting me up right here on YouTube. Like, hey, DYDSS, are you going to get the Goldbacks? I'm like, am I going to get the what? They're like, are you going to be stacking any Goldbacks? Am I going to stack what? What do you think of the Goldbacks? What do I think of the what? And then when I actually figured out what they were, I thought that they were pretty cool. I will be honest, though. At the time, I didn't have a full understanding. I didn't completely get it. Like, I got it, but it didn't fully click, if that makes sense. I knew one thing, though. Thought it was a cool idea. I thought it was pretty interesting. At the time, I viewed it as more of a collector's item because of all the hype and excitement around them. Like the... Really, any coin that comes out. It happens all the time. Anytime that there's like this new, potentially low mintage coin like the V2s or anything like that, I get bombarded by comments from people asking me if I'm going to get them, what do I think of them, or are they worth getting, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And coming from the perspective of somebody who is just really not a collector, generally, I'm not interested in any of those coins. I think they're beautiful looking coins, don't get me wrong. But truth be told, those premiums scare me away. <laughs> I'm like, hey, it's a great looking coin, but I can't bite the bullet on that price tag. So when I first started looking up the goldbacks, I kind of viewed them the same way. I was like, wow, those are crazy. Those look awesome. 
But being that they're more of a collector's item, and I'm not really much of a collector, I'll admire from afar. Then we got the Nevada Goldbacks. There was some hype and excitement around them. The New Hampshire Goldbacks, hype and excitement around them. Then I stopped by the P.O. box one day, and this one right here sitting on top was inside waiting for me. Shout out and thank you to Joseph for sending this my way. Kind of got the ball rolling. See, what happened to me when it comes to goldbacks was the same thing that happened to me when it came to silver stacking in general. In late 2017, I knew I wanted to stack silver. I had heard about it a couple years prior. I liked the idea. It sounded cool to me. I got it, but I didn't fully get it. And something happened. I don't remember exactly what went on, but something reminded me about silver. And I went and did a little bit more research on my own. I watched a couple of different silver stacking channels back in late 2017. I got some of the information I was looking for, and I said, you know what, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go to the coin shop. I know there's one uh, a quick drive away. I mean, technically, it's walking distance if I wanted to walk there. I'm going to go and get myself a silver coin or, or, or something. So I stopped by. I ended up getting myself a silver round. And before it was in my hand, I knew it was something that I wanted to get. But after it was in my hand, I knew it was something that I was committed to. It's one of those things where you just don't fully understand until you're actually physically holding on to the piece of silver. And for the first time in your life, you understand what it's like to have real money in your hand. And even though it was just a troy ounce, just the weight of it. I don't know. Something just comes over you and you realize it's, it's almost like it's like you wake up like, wow, this is this is what real value is. And I was hooked ever since. Well, long story short, I think that's kind of what happened to me when it came to the goldbacks. Now, as I always say, I'm not stacking goldbacks. I just think it's kind of cool to get one of each of the denominations, which at least for the ones, fives and tens. That's what I'll do with the 25s and the 50s. I don't know. I haven't made my decision. I haven't made up my mind just yet on those. Those cost a higher dollar amount, which I, know, I don't know if I'm willing to do. I think I might ra rather put those dollars elsewhere. But when Joseph sent this my way, pretty much the same thing happened. And it was just maybe, what, a month or two ago that he sent me this? In 2021, what happened to me with the Goldbacks is pretty much the same thing that happened to me with Silver back in 2017. I had to hold it in my hand. I had to see it with my own eyes, not on a screen. Not by looking at a picture on my phone or watching somebody's video fiddling around with Goldbacks. No, I had to actually see it in person. Hold it in my hand and look at it with my own eyes in person. That's what got the gears moving. That's what made me start to realize, I was like, wow. I always knew this was a cool concept. But now I'm positive this is a cool concept. See, that's what it was before. Before I thought it was cool. Now I know that it's cool. I understand it better now. I have a better understanding. I actually know what it's all about rather than just having somewhat of a, a general idea. I'm involved now. I'm participating now. And I'm all for it. And I'm looking forward to South Dakota Goldbacks coming out next year. And Wyoming Goldbacks coming out either next year or the following year. And I'm excited to find out what the next state is going to be. Let me know, what do you think the next date is going to be?
if I had to guess, and this is just as random as it could possibly get, I think it might be Texas. So yeah, that was about an eight minute clip taken from a roughly three and a half hour long live stream that we just did last night in the VIP club. Again, if you want to join, I'll leave the link in the description. You have only three days left to join if you want to get entered into the November giveaway. But I wanted to talk a little bit more about the power of money because it's something that I truly do not believe is something that you're going to fully experience or fully get until you're actually holding on to the silver and the gold. And I don't think it matters the denomination. I don't think it matters how much silver or gold in your hand. I don't think it requires you to hold on to a 50 ounce silver bar or a full troy ounce gold coin. I don't think that's absolutely necessary because it all changed for me on day one with a simple ounce of silver in my hand. A little bit later down the road, a couple of months down the road, when I picked up my first little piece of gold, which I will be showing in, I believe, Saturday's video. It's already filmed, by the way. It's already edited. It's already ready to go. It'll be posted on Saturday, or also it'll be posted on Friday if you're in the VIP club. But my very first piece of gold was this little teeny tiny denomination. And even though it wasn't a very substantial amount of gold, I knew that a substantial amount of value was packed into it. And then fast forward a couple years down the road, as explained in the clip about the goldbacks, of course I thought that they were interesting. I knew what they were about. But it wasn't until I actually held one in my hand, a goldback, which by the way, a very, very, very small fraction of a troy ounce of gold. It's not a whole lot of gold there, but a whole lot of value packed into it. And it's not something that people are going to understand until they're actually holding on to a little piece of silver or a little piece of gold. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably already understand because odds are you probably already have held on to a piece of silver or a piece of gold at some point. If you made it this far into a silver and gold video, I'm assuming you're stacking the silver and gold, but this is more so in reference to the people who don't stack or have never stacked or haven't yet gotten started stacking. On day one for them, it's going to be a complete and total game changer. That's how it was for me. I'm curious. What are your thoughts? If you can head on down to the comments and let you know anything and everything related to today's video topic, when it comes to stacking the silver and the gold, did something change the day you actually held on to a piece of metal, silver or gold, the very first time. Did it wake you up to the fact that, wow, this is real money right here. This is something substantial. This is something of actual value. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and the power of money or the power of value packed into the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shoutouts, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. If you guys like today's video, please hit the like button. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos. Got a bunch of new uploads over there. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really appreciate that. Got the limited edition Halloween tees available in three different colors. Don't forget, you only have three days left to get one, and then they're gone, so get one while you can. And, of course, the DYDSS Fight Collection, helping raise a little bit of funds and awareness for the National Breast Cancer Foundation during Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And, of course, we have tons and tons and tons of other designs as well. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. 
it's more than appreciated. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, what are your thoughts on the power of money? And I'm not talking about fake money. I'm not talking about currency. Not synonymous. I'm talking about real, true, honest money. I'm talking about the silver. I'm talking about the gold. Did something change for you on day one? The day you started stacking, the first time you held a little piece of silver or a little piece of gold in your hand, whether it be a gold back, a gold coin, whether it be a silver eagle, whether it be a silver bar, doesn't matter. The first time you held on to real money, did it wake you up to the fact that there is something more to this right here? This is something that you're not going to really fully understand until you're actually holding on to it. Or maybe I'm just crazy. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.